Hello everyone! Ang kukunin natin ngayon sa video ng ito ay a standard equation of a hyperbola. So dito, kukunin natin or hahanapin natin yung equation ng hyperbola given yung parts okay, ng hyperbola. And vice versa, given yung parts, then uh, hanapin natin yung equation. Ganoon din na uh, mag-sketch tayo ng hyperbola. Okay. Let's have an example. Number 1. So, ito yung ginawa ko na kanina. Okay. Ito yung given. Sketch the square of x over 9 uh, minus square of y over 16 equals 1. Showing its vertices and cosi. Uh, dito, yung uh, 9 ay yung square of a. Ito naman, yung 16, ito yung square of b. Okay, uh, tanggalin lang natin itong, itong isa. Okay, hindi uh, na mabura to Pero ganito, class. So, yung uh, a natin dito ay 3. Di ba? Uh, dito naman, ang b natin is 4. Now, yung c, yun yung uh, i-determine natin. So, alam natin na yung formula ng C is the square root of B square plus A square. Okay? So, alam natin na yung B square ay 16 and yung A square is 9. So, dito, uh, nauna yung 9, yung A square. Kaya nil nilagyan ko kanina ito ng arrow. Okay? Pero, hindi naman maapekto lang yung, uh, uh, yung sum nila kasi nga, pag sinabing addition, uh, commutative sila. Oh, commutative. Okay? So, pwede nga nandito yung uh, or nandito yung A, na A squared, nandito yung B squared. Okay? So, yung sum ng 9 at saka 16 is 25. And pagkukunin natin yung square root ng 25 ay 5. So, yung C is 5. Now, class, yung uh, A Ito yung uh, distance ng vertex from the center. So, dito, yung V, uh, yung coordinates ng uh, vertex. So, dalawang vertex dito. Kaya yung sign nila ay uh, ng 3, positive at saka negative. Okay, so, yung uh, focus naman, alam natin yung distance niya from the center ay C. So, yung nakon natin C kanina is 5. Kaya sa coordinates ng focus, mayroong positive 5, 0. And yung second focus, negative 5, 0. So, dalawang focus, dalawang vertex. Okay, so ito na yun yung inalam natin. Vertices and foci. Ngayon, i-sketch natin. So, mayroon na agad yung uh, figure. So, ang gawin lang natin is explain kung paano nakuha yung o paano mag-sketch ng graph. So, ang gawin natin, i-plot natin yung focus, dalawang focus. Okay? So, so from the center to the focus, ang distance niya is 5. So, ibig sabihin, nandito yung focus, yung first focus. Then, from the center, so, magkawang tayo ng 5 units. So, nandito yung second focus. Okay. Next, yung vertex. Yung first vertex is positive 3, 0. So, nandito. So, i-label na lang natin to as second vertex. Kasi nandito yung uh, second focus. Pero, pwede rin namang first vertex pag uh, kung gusto nyo. Pero, mas maganda kapag uh, pag second focus dito, second vertex naman dito. So, ito, nandito naman yung first vertex. Yung coordinates niya ay negative 3, 0. Right, so, uh, since uh, collinear sila, dun sa, uh, sa transverse axis, ibig sabihin, ito yung transverse axis natin. Uh, lagay na lang natin na uh, TA for transverse axis. Then, of course, ito yung conjugate axis. Okay. Pero, 
sa ano sa problem uh, hindi naman na kailangan yung conjugate axis okay hindi naman kailangan i-level pero ginawa ko pa rin para at least uh, alam natin kung ano yung mga parts so now uh, dun tayo sa ano kung paano i-sketch yung hyperbola so paano magkakaroon ng hyperbola so naiplot na natin yung focus at saka yung vertex ngayon gamitin uh, natin yung uh, v dito v is 4 ibig sabihin yan yung distance ng co-vertex from the center so pag sinabing co-vertex nandito saka nandito naman yung isa sa baba so yung uh, distance niya ay uh, 4 okay so, pag uh, naiplat na yung uh, vertex, dalawang vertex at saka yung dalawang co-vertices, then gawin natin, mag-form tayo ng uh, square or rectangle. So, mag-draw lang tayo ng uh, horizontal segment and then vertical segment para maka-form ng square or rectangle. Then, mag-draw tayo ng uh, line from this corner to the center straight line so pag ginawa natin ito then uh, ac accurately dadaan dito or it will pass through this corner so maka form tayo ng line then uh, ito yung asymptote then yung isang asymptote ganun din so mag draw ng line from a corner to the center do the corner so makaform tayo ng isa pang asymptote so ganun lang kung paano magform then uh, dito class uh, pwede naman natin kunin yung equation ng dalawang asymptotes using these formulas okay so say ito yung uh, at ito yung formula class y is equal to positive or negative b over a x uh, alam natin na yung b ang value ng b is 4 so substitution 4 na dito yung a alam natin from this equation uh, 3 na dito so dalawa yung equations ng dalawang asymptotes ito na yun okay so yung y sub 1 is ito it rises to the left then yung uh, isa naman, it rises to the right. Okay, ito yung y sub 2. Okay. Uh, dito class, may correction dito. Yung y sub 2 is ito. Okay. Huwag natin ma-misinterpret. Na, basta yung y sub 2 is ito. Itong, itong uh, uh, symptom na to. Then, yung y sub 1 naman is ito. Okay, so nilalagyan ko na ng arrow para hindi tayo malito. Okay, um, next. So, babalik tayo sa question paano mag-sketch ng um, hyperbola. So, given na yun, mayroon na tayong asymptotes, then naiplot na natin yung vertex. Ang gawin natin, mag-draw lang tayo ng curve. So, parang parabola siya from the center. Then, uh, pababa. Okay. So, palapit ng palapit dun sa asymptote na parang magtatouch sila. Pero, ang totoo, hindi sila magtatouch or mag-intersect. So, ganun din dito. So, pag ginawa natin yun, makaform tayo ng figure. That is, uh, hyperbola. Then, yung isa pa, dito rin. Okay, so uh, ito na yung hyperbola natin nagawa natin Okay, so I hope uh, clear yung discussion dito sa example number 1 Next uh, Example number 2 Find an equation of the hyperbola centered at the origin with foci at positive uh, 7, 0 and vertices at positive or negative 5 
0. So, meron tayong focus at saka vertex or vertices. So, hanapin natin yung equation. So, alam natin na yung distance ng focus sa center ay C. So, ibig sabihin yung C dito ay 7. Yung distance ng vertex from the center is A. That is uh, 5. So, meron tayong uh, C is equal to 7, A is equal to 5. Ngayon, hanapin natin yung value ng B. Uh, alam natin na yung uh, equation is the square root of uh, C square. Okay, uh, pasensya nyo na yung sulat. Minus A square. Ayan. Then, by substitution, yung square of C is 49. Then, square of A is 25. So, pag sinimplify ito, magiging square root of 24. Okay, uh, next. Uh, kailangan natin burahin yung ano, sinulat, na, sinulat ko. Para makita natin. Okay. So, ito na yung ano, equation natin. Okay. So, since yung hyperbola centered at the region, so, square of x na lang dito sa numerator. Then, dito naman sa second numerator, square of y. Then, sa yung denominator ng square of x, alam natin is a squared. And a squared is 25. And yung b squared is uh, 24. Okay? So, and it is equal to 1. So, ito yung hinahanap nating equation. Okay? So, that's all for this video. Thank you and goodbye.